We have all been amazed by these mega structures crossing rivers or even the sea, and you may use them to commute every day. But do you know how to build bridge over water, and what are the challenges? While we don't often think of bridges as underwater structures, the truth is that many of their important elements are underwater. And so, on top of the common challenges encounter when building a bridge, three more challenges add up. 1. Finding suitable materials. Many of the materials we frequently use on land, like wood, are not suitable for underwater use. 2. Dealing with water pressure. Both during construction and over the life of a structure, the effects of water pressure play a critical role. And 3. Managing corrosion. Undersea projects must take into account the corrosive effects of saltwater. This is why they are considered as one of the most difficult constructions. There are four major techniques to build solid underwater foundations to suit the conditions and the type of bridge. Interestingly, all of these underwater construction techniques have the same underlying goal – avoid building underwater. Instead, water is diverted or avoided in various ways during construction. It is an essential approach because it is nearly impossible to actually build in water. The first technique is using caissons. Caissons are large hollow structures that are not built on site but rather are prefabricated and then installed at a chosen place. They lowered into the water down to the ocean floor or riverbed. Water flows around these structures and inside them. Water is then pumped out and workers can excavate through the loose sand to reach the solid bedrock. At that point, a caisson can be filled with concrete and it becomes part of the bridge's foundation. The second technique is building cofferdom. Cofferdoms are temporary enclosures used to dewater an area. The objective is to build a waterproof barrier and create a dry working environment so that the work can be carried out safely. As the name suggests, cofferdoms work similarly to dams, preventing the flow of water from a particular area. Cofferdoms can be created from a variety of materials, including steel and rocks. The most basic type of cofferdom is made by simply piling up large amounts of dirt. However, these types of cofferdoms often require some kind of reinforcement to prevent erosion. The third technique is using driven piles. Driven piles enable crews to create sturdy structures without having to remove any water at all. Piles, which look like long vertical columns, can be driven into the ground using a powerful hammer, creating a stable foundation for underwater or overwater structures. They are most often made of steel, though they have a partially hollow interior. After the piles are placed, they are filled with concrete. They are one of the most cost-effective ways to build foundational elements of underwater buildings, which need to be securely attached in place to prevent moving with the water's current. The last technique is to build the foundation of a bridge off-site, transport it to the body of water, load it on a barge, tow it out to where it is needed, and then lower the structure into the water down at the bottom. Once it has been lowered, the structure can be fastened to the bottom with piles, for instance. Although this method of construction can be expensive, it perfectly meet the goal of underwater construction, which is to avoid having to actually build underwater. As a result, one of the most common practices in underwater construction is off-site building. What are the most common materials used in underwater construction? Concrete. A special variety of concrete used underwater is able to set quickly despite water currents and fares well in salt water. Steel. Steel, typically enclosed by concrete, forms a strong structure for underwater buildings. Acrylic glass. Resistant to sunlight, durable and fairly rigid acrylic plastics are well suited to underwater construction. Since it is transparent, acrylic glass is used for underwater windows. With the right materials, construction companies are ready to use a variety of construction methods that make it possible to create amazing underwater structures. With all this knowledge, let's impress your friends next time you cross a bridge.